when I said I was going to dedicate this whole weekend to my dad. Yeah. Father's Day, Juneteenth, Black Music Month. For me, it really is all one thing. It, it really is all one thing. It's, it's roots and heritage and legacy as something that you can feel, something that's real, something that's not pretend, something that's not made up by random women and men who don't know your life, who don't know your story. They just pretend to know, and then they write their own narrative, and then, you know, next thing you know, your life becomes their show. You know what I'm saying? They, it's their version of what they think you are, or who they think you are. People never knew me. Even the ones who think they knew me, they never knew me. They don't even know me now, and they think they do. I'm telling you, they're, they're, I, I can count on one hand and have some fingers left over on the people who really, really know me. And even they don't know me because I am learning, I'm evolving every day, every day. So, number one, no one knows me more than me. And you can't really know me 100% because I'm evolving every day. That's impossible to know someone that's evolving every day. Especially when you're not keeping up yourself. That part. So, it's Father's Day weekend. Ooh, I hear the horn blow. I hear you, Daddy. I do. I've been hearing you all day. I started out the morning. You know how I used to have morning, Saturday morning, matinee with Mom? <laughs> well, today, it was Daddy's day. And uh, at first off, let me say, wow, too much out of balance. Stuff can be so beautiful and so peaceful and so wonderful, but when it's un, when it's not kept up, when it's unkept and out of balance, it just grows. Uh, it chokes everything out. It's like it's like weed. You ever, you ever seen people? Weed has this. Weed has this. Uh, let me tell you. Now weed has its advantages, but there's a couple of things about that. Are we going to talk about weave right now on Daddy's Day? I don't believe I'm doing it myself right under the sun. Because I, I, I know my daddy is looking at me like, where did you learn that from? <laughs> okay, because I didn't learn that from him or my mom. Cigarette smoking, but I didn't do sick. They, they had, you know, they, you know, they were, they were, they were, I, I remember distinctly, you know, the cigarettes, which I, I didn't do. Uh, and, uh. Johnny Walker Scotch. <sighs> Military people. Scotch. Whoa, wow, man. Something else. But anyway, I didn't start. I was I was basically a teetotaler till uh my you know, even though you know they would have parties and as a little you know, when you're a military brat, you have you have at least tasted beer or alcohol at a very early age. We are really not as bothered by that as as, as some of you guys are. Which is, by the way, I'm still my daddy today. My shoes and my socks match. Avia, Avia. I'm going to take my shoes off for a minute. Shades on, shades off. Because this is some oracle talk on Daddy's Day weekend. At a place where, happy Juneteenth, um... I will say this about that, and I know this is going to draw some uh, ire, or whatever the word is, uh, you know, some, like, what, whatever, from some people, and I'm going to say it with the shades off, because I'm, I'm really serious. Number one, I'm, I'm just sorry, anytime this government gets behind something, like now, you know, you, you, give, us a, you give us a holiday, but you owe us so much. I am sick and tired of statues, streets, and holidays. Those are pacifiers to a real problem. And you know what you owe. Pay us what you owe, point blank. And that's to anybody who owes me. Direct investment. Not investment through middlemen. Not investment through something else that's going to trickle down. Direct 
investment baby do you know what that is it's called tangible assets don't talk to me about something in the air don't talk to me about something in the system don't talk to me about something that's going to come to me through somebody else through somebody else through somebody else and eventually i just need to be patient and be good and be kind fuck you pay me karma is on your head karma is on your head till you do right by me See how the fingers pointed up and three are pointing down? That part, though. Now, getting back to too much green, too much weed. It's like too much weed. It's, it's debilitating. It's debilitating. It chokes out everything. You just choke at a time when you need to be clear and clean. You choke. Hello, baby. It's a dragonfly. Where'd you go? It's right there. Well, I'm just saying. Ugh. I'm just saying. Uh, all of this used to be water. All of this used to be water. All of this used to be water. And if you've been watching my videos, then you know. If you haven't, I'm going to say this again. All of this used to be water. How long do you think it took? You see where the trees are at, right? all this in the middle all where you see that the, the 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 line the shoreline basically is where the trees were at all that you see in the middle and stuff like that and out there used to be water those are not islands they're islands or whatever they are now but all that used to be water clean water clear not clean water but you know it's a pond clear water all of this used to be water all of this used to be water all of this happened in two years you hear what I'm saying? All of this that used to be water has happened in two years. There's no global warming, though. There's no global warming, though. There's no, uh, there's no stranger danger. I love dragonflies, two of them. There's no uh, stranger danger with our government who seems to be interested in, I don't know what the fuck they're interested in, but uh, it's, it's not human life. Just by the way you treat people, just by the way you act, just by the way you lie for profit. Our prophets are lying for profit. I said what I said, but you have a problem with me. And I'm out here on a place where I actually feel like I'm free. Around this area, I'm at the freest place there is. If you know, you know. Around real freedom fighters. Who ironically are not free. Because we serve in imperialism. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm going to get flagged for that one. But, you know, okay, okay, well, I'll just put it this way. It's funny how people put so much hate on France. And I'm, I'm not going to say what that is or what it's not. But, you know, black people, whenever they, they, all countries have issues. But black people don't have the problem in France that they have over here. You know, why, why do black people have to go to France to be accepted for our talent and our craft and all the beauty that we are? When over here, it just gets copied and stolen and debilitated. I mean, my gosh, my gosh, you will dismiss the best and put in some bullshit Brazilian butt lift, bubble lip, bimbo bitch and say she is like the, the epitome of beauty and she's trying to look like the black woman. She has stolen everything from the black woman and, um, and apparently thinks she can steal all the men too, because that does seem to happen, doesn't it? When people get a certain, uh, uh, certain something with their pocket. They forget the ones who helped put them there. Stuff just changes when you get in a different tax bracket. But right now, I'm talking about green when it's out of control, out of balance. Because people who have a lot of money who don't know what to do with money are just like, are, are addicts. When they do, you don't, you don't feel the plight of people, but you will spend a million dollars on a choker chain for a dog but this you miss this as far as what we really need to do with global warming and what's going on with the the earth and transhumanism and what transhumanism really is and again this is not again shout out to the lgbq lgbtq 
LGBTQ. Let me say it like that. LGBTQ. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep it uh, there because you know this this trans thing is just like I I I want uh, for my for for myself for my conversation I don't mind I want the separation understood I don't agree with trans not for the way oh hello turtle not for the way maybe you do I don't agree with the agenda that they're pushing behind trying to make people they're really really pushing this narrative for people to change, like, you don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. You could be a man. You could be a woman. You could be both. You don't know who you are. And it starts when you're a child. It really doesn't. Children should be children. Children should not have to worry about sex issues at all. Children should not have to worry about sex issues or what type of sex they are at all. That's insane. Those conversations don't come up until you get around adults that are strange. More than weird, strange. Your child has basically come from a place that you forgot a long time ago. So they'll let you know. So don't tell me what's the kids that's bringing up. Like they're questioning who they are. They are not. You are just a bot or you've been programmed by bots to not see this soul and green thing that is really happening, man. They're really, you, you, you don't notice while you're up here fighting for some shit that's not even real and trying to normalize it that it is you will never normalize test tube shit or fake shit that is real say it is what it is if you like the fat if you like the fake shit then go with the fake shit hell if you like it for yourself i love it but you do not you do not you do not you do not push that down my throat or push that down the throat of my babies who are just trying to be a child and you want to, what is it? Do you know what you are? Do you know are you female or you male? You got these people, you got these heads, you got these these people, these these rosemary baby people coming in, you know, waiting for the child to be born or waiting for the mother to give birth or waiting for all of us who are giving birth to something beautiful and natural right now. And they're looking at us trying to grab the energy. What will my daddy do? <laughs> well, I'm his little mini me. And I'm also my mama's mini me. And you know what he has told me to do? Ooh. Yep, I do talk to spirit. I do talk to, I don't have to channel anything. I just come out and just breathe. But that's me. No clout. No, uh, what I follow without a mention. And I still give love to certain artists that, like the artists I play on my show, which is my baby. I learned from my dad a long time ago to have your own thing. He was in the military, but man, he, he, he ended up doing, uh, he was an activist in the community. And he was one of the very first people who studied, who took home classes on, on the computer to be a salesman for North Carolina Mutual, one of the first North Carolina Mutual salesmen here off Merck's and Row. The Merck? Y'all don't know the Merck. Y'all don't know the Merck that I know. You know the Merck that they want you to know. Y'all don't know the Merck that I know. You look at Massey Hill area and all that area and all the the, the ritzy area in Fayetteville and you think that's been the most classiest areas that, that's ever been in Fayetteville when those were the... the those... The, the, <clears throat> Well, if you were here back in the day, you know what they are. But it's so ironic. Uh, this speaks for this town on so many ways. Fairies. Thank you, Mother Nature, for always providing me when they snatched everything from me. When I didn't see that none of these mofos were for me. They were just using me when I believed and believed and believed in doing good just to be doing good it's gonna come back to you it's gonna come back to you it's gonna come back to you that's a lie you keep feeding in an, a barren garden it's never you not think about that you're feeding in a barren field what do you expect to grow from that that's coming <laughs> I heard something like I ain't playing I heard movement I heard movement you know I am very well aware very well aware 
Oh well. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not. I used to be. I used to be. I used to be just so exploratory, but I have seen too many bear videos and stuff. And I know it's like snake season. I guess because one comes right to my doorstep. Now, no, we've had. Uh, I've already had instances with snakes on my walk here, and the 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 the, the big <laughs> the big water moccasin. Uh, 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 incident. Not looking forward to that. So, you know what? When I hear something, especially with the way the alignment is right now, you know, you just gotta like, you know, you just gotta move quick. Move quick. Some things aren't worth investigating. No matter where you are, there could be danger around every corner. You just gotta be aware. Maintain your happiness. Do what you uh, need to do for you. What brings you peace? Look at this. All this is for me. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Ain't nothing out here. Ain't nobody bothering me. I can breathe free. I can live free. I can eat free. I can make choices. <laughs> Uh, nope. <laughs> and I can just continue to do what I do because I had good parents. I had a good father. A really good dad. A really good example. And that is, uh, that's a part of my uh, legacy. And that's something that no one can take from me nor copy. I don't know how your parents are, nor do I really care, but for those who want to be aware of what type of person I am, well, I've always said the seed fall, doesn't fall far from the, the tree. The fruit, doesn't fall, the, tree, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, and the tree <laughs> doesn't, you know, it grows up from the seed. That's planted. You planning shit? That's what I'm saying about barren fields. You bet you planting barren fields. You're gonna get a barren mill. Some of you are seeing that right now. Me too. Cause I planted in a barren field and I thought it was gonna come back. I put my heart in it. I really did. But you know what? This is what we call a flip. 2022. It's a different type of uh, view. And I know what I got to do for me. So like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm where I can feel free. And peaceful. And breathe. With nobody asking me for nothing. Nobody all up in my business. Where you at? What you doing? Where you been? Or anything like that. Because all the people who ask, most of them are not your friends. Right now, I don't know if anyone is. Honestly, I think almost, you know, 90% of the people who are, are my Facebook friends aren't even real. There's some weird stuff going on. So, I'm like the type of person where if I can't actually see you or touch you or feel you, you're not real to me. I don't care about, if I can't talk to you on the phone, if I haven't had a real conversation with you, a real conversation with a real person, not a deep fake person, not a bot, not a middleman or a middlewoman, if I haven't had a real conversation with you, don't expect anything real from me. Don't expect no help, no money, no nothing. No nothing, no None of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Why? Why should I? I'm not desperate. I'm not lonely. I really don't need the interaction. I interact only because I want to. I'm, I, I've said many times, I'm an only child. I'm a military brat and only child. I can be by myself and be fine. I did that, remember? Cut off everybody. For like about, what, two, three, four years? Feels like that time again. Which brings me to the rest of this month. What I'm going to do for me. Little Bob Jones Jr. This mini me. I'm going to dedicate uh, 
this next cycle of videos, I'm going to seriously fuck up the algorithm because I'm going to do something uh, that we're going to like spotlight positive black men, a real one, my dad. And I'm just going to talk about the influence that he's had on me up through his birthday season because his birthday is July 23rd. So, uh, and his legacy is amazing. I mean, some of my cousins call me Little Bob Jones Jr. I am his mini me. I had one of my one of my friends, who's actually one of my Leo friends, asked me a long time ago. The one who just happened to be there to bring me out of some serious doldrums. I appreciate him very much. Uh, but he asked a very poignant question because he was one of the few people during the time that truly understood me. Like I said, we truly understood each other. So we were just, people were like, you know when people start thinking that they're deep and they're doing something, they're not doing shit. And plus, also, he was in the military, too. I could, I told you I connect with military people, military brass. Anyway, he just noticed, when have you been your dad? How long have you been your dad? And that was such a very real and blunt question. It kind of caught me off guard, like, what? He's like, you became your dad. Somewhere down the line, you stopped being you and you became your dad. And I went, yeah. Yeah. And it was actually when daddy died. And I saw how these snakes started circling around my mom. The nerve at his death, at his grave. The ones who all, all, the only thing they worry about are their rules and their books. That brotherhood and sisterhood shit, I didn't see that. I saw Pharisees and Sadducees. I saw a real Christ energy, a real Jesus doing just that and I saw that they say that there's a legacy they say that there is um, those who know know they say that there's a bloodline They say those who don't know. I don't even know why I'm saying this now, but uh, again, how many of you even know who the Rosicrucians are before I mention that? Now, how many? Well, you know, I don't, you know, that doesn't matter because people lie now. So everybody's going to start doing stuff. They're going to research and start doing, and that, and that's that's going to be that's going to be very very sad and awkward because I'm telling you, you don't want to do that. But you know what? Do 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 you? Because a lot of people, a lot of people like to play with stuff that they don't know, and like to play with spirits, and like to call on stuff, and call on these words of power, you know, because it's trendy and everything, and and they, and they wonder why they get they wonder why they get ate up. Because there is a spirit that goes with all of these things. And there really is a clan of some sort. There really is an energy, a spirit, a tribe. There really is, a, it really is a, almost, you know, in, a, in the weirdest way. I see why mom had me watching Doctor Who. Because in the weirdest way, it really is kind of like a Doctor Who type of adventure. Where, you know, why did Doctor Who run away from Gallifrey? Because Doctor Who did not want to, you know, rule. <laughs> Doctor Who just wanted to play. And, uh, you know, and, you know, and then, you know, you had River Song. So it's like, you know, the duck, that, that's, that's, that's my two fish right there. You know, and even in the separation of that, because, you know, you, ha you have it in the spiritual. And then, you know, and, and, you, know you, you have it in the spiritual. And then, you know, it, 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 it's in the physical. It's, 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 but, yeah. I'm dedicating this next, this whole, my videos to my dad. So y'all go ahead and do your, but uh, June is Black Music Month, first and foremost, and forever in my heart. 
Father's Day is Father's Day. Mothers, you have your day. Sit your ass down. Well, that was, was mother and the father too. Sit your ass down. You have Mother's Day. Some of y'all are way out of control. Some of us actually did have daddies that we want to celebrate our daddies without celebrating with some mother. I'm the dad too. Sit to have a. You should have celebrated for Mother's Day. If 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 that sounded sexist to you, then that's you know what? Then get them because it's stupid when you think about it, it really is stupid you all have made the things that you separate on is silly and it's disrupting of a natural alchemy that is very much needed for the component of life you don't even see how you are being used as a tool for death with your own agenda and your own mind, you are being programmed, and you are repro. You are you are programming yourself to align with it for death. It's in your music. It's in your actions. It's in your protests. It's in your organizations. It's in the government. Like I said, isn't it ironic that right now I'm in the freest place I can be? And it's on, a, it's on a military base. It's around a bunch of freedom fighters. And yet we are still not free because we are being held by a tyranny of someone that's overlooking us. A lot of people think so much money is going to the military, but it's not going to us. It's not going to the soldiers and it's got not going to the, 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 the spouses and the dependents. Ask them where they live. Talk to them in real life. Don't talk to the clones and the bots and the ones who are paid to uh, d to play the role. Talk to the and some of the ones who are retired and don't care. They may tell you some of the ones. That, although that right now people like just you know and the ones that are here they can't tell you. I told you before I'm the voice of my people. They can't speak so I speak for them because they protect me. So you know support support support. I learned that from my daddy. Looking at a beautiful dragonfly. Are you a dragonfly? Where are you? I was going to take a picture, but it disappeared. But I, I did. I learned that from my father. I had a good father. Good fathers matter. You can tell in daddy's little girls if they had a good father. Guys, you want to get the one who had a good father. I'm just saying, I don't care how pretty she is, how rich she is, how whatever, whatever, whatever. But if she had a fucked up relationship with her dad, she's going to have some fucked up issues. Everybody needs somebody. But I'm saying you can't look at everything as the same. You're looking at surface shit. And on the inside, that bitch is broke. And you are paying to fix her. Then do that. But don't come to me and blame me because you done dealt with some broken bitches and you expect to, like, mold me into something that you want me to be because you don't know how to deal with a real woman. And you're not coming to me like a real man. And I said what I said because I don't do this double swishing shit. Mm-mm. 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 If you don't know what you want, then you're not, you're, 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 we can be friends. I don't mind, I do not have a problem be friends, but we, we ain't, we ain't, I, I, mm -mm. I, this, this is treasure. My pleasure is my treasure, and my, ple my treasure is my pleasure. And that is only worthy of the one who is worthy of, and this one's going to be all man, not a switch hitter. My preference, my body. Don't say, well, that, no, thou nothing. Now I want somebody like her father. I don't hold grudges. I just want who I want when it comes to this department. And I have the right to say that. This whole thing, this got like really weird in the last year and a half. Trying to push a narrative. And then you can see, I could, I could start to see where, the, where not only the emotional investment, but the monetary investment came. So at a point, I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute, I am being betrayed for a narrative on some dumb, crazy shit. Like, I don't know what this is, and this all could have been in my head. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm Pisces, I'm an empath. I am what I am. I'm just a chick telling a story, my story. Take what you want out of it. Not a dream.
you know, though I talked to you about my dream and my vision, so I'm a chick, you know, showing you real stories. In any event, I'm going to focus on my show, my happiness. Since 77, I have uh, done the events, for just like my dad, did the events out there in the community and I was at the first uh, Juneteenth event around here and did you know did it many times no money no money no money by the way for people to assume that I'm supposed to promote them with no money that is a job people get paid to do that people get paid to do that people even pay their bots people even pay their hoes to do that but you want me to do it for free even though I say yes I do philanthropy but it's the the fact that you don't understand reciprocity because even if I'm doing something for you, the least you could do is share that I'm doing it for you. That costs you nothing. You know, it's like, okay, you've acknowledged it. Now, you don't have to acknowledge it. I'm not doing it for the acknowledge. But after about, after you know that you are benefiting from it. And see, there have been those who know damn well my presence and my present benefited them. My influence benefited them. As low key as they want to, as low key as it appears. Hey, sweetie. Look at that beautiful dragonfly. Are you going? Okay, finish the story. Uh, but my, yeah, my influence helped them. That's why not, they have not been able to do it again. If you were all that from the very beginning, to be all that now. But you're not. And you're mad because you said, I'm not supporting you. So you blame. See what you do? You discarded the fact that I, I even was important to you. And now that, you know, I'm, well, since, you know, you, you, you the man, you the woman, then do that shit. Do your thing. Now you mad at me that I'm not supporting you. But you didn't support me when I was supporting you. See how fickle that shit is? And people will really try to, like, gaslight to make you think it's something wrong with you. I had to, I don't know why I had to, like, teach myself that 50,000 times. I saw that with my dad, how much he helped the community. And, and I saw the community uh, uh, basically murdering. So what I said. Saw the community murder my husband. I said what I said. I saw a healer and a soldier and my mom. And though she never broke, not even having esophageal cancer, she broke down. And um, even though water signs are supposed to be very emotional, I've uh, had to help hold back my emotion because I had to be strong. Maybe I took that upon myself, but, you know. I was, love supports love. See, here's the thing. My parents had me late. They had me when they were in their 30s. So they really, really wanted me. That's not a dig. That's just saying that my parents really, really wanted me. They really went hard in the paint to have me. And there were just so many things that seemed to be against them to do that. But that miracle happened, and they made it happen, my creators. So when you say, look at God, I do every day with my parents. And I'm looking at myself because they are in me. God is in me because I am my parents, and my parents are in me. And it's Father's Day, and my dad is reminding me that, you know what? If I choose to be free, I am because I have everything I need. I have the knowledge, I have the capability, I have the best dad in the world who taught me real shit, and always the protector, always the protector, always, always the protector. So today I'm not around anybody, because people just have pulled on me way too much. The baby is healing. The baby is in her daddy's arms. The baby is chilling and being inspired and loved. 
because I am love. And what's crazy is that instead of looking at this and being inspired, there are some people who are actually mad or jealous. If you even remotely sense that people are mad or jealous of your peace, when you know you deserve it, not even for a second think, is it me? No, it's not you. It's them. Cut that energy off. Cut it off. It's rapture time. It is. People are either with you or they're not. You don't give second chances. You don't give thirds. That, that two strikes and three strikes are out. Nope. Cut that shit off the first time. That's what my daddy said. We're cutting off people left and right. I don't know where we're going, but I know I'm not going without the baggage. I'm not going without the baggage, but I am going with my egg. I brought my egg. I brought my egg. I brought my egg. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. Do you see all the... The dragonflies are just all over the Oh my god, this is so this is like the coolest of the cool. Yeah. Yeah. Curiosity almost makes me want to go, what was that I heard over there? But child, no, you're good. Happy Father's Day weekend, y'all. You're gonna see a change. Hopefully, uh, they'll help you. Either way, I know it's gonna help me. So uh that being said. So let's go cafe. The hippest, trippest, most collective vibe in the universe. Man, if you're not listening to this show, nobody does a show like my show. So I guess like people are doing house now. Drizzy's doing house now, so I'm going to start calling him drowsy. <laughs> That's not a dig. I got to find maybe a different name because that sounds like a dig. Drizzy drowsy. Drizzy drowsy. Uh, people don't understand house. And and trust me, some people going to get into techno and EDM and they're going to call that house. See, this is the thing with you young people. You all don't understand. Well, fuck it. But uh, if you really want that vibe, listen to Soul School Cafe. I've been doing that since 2007. I've been in the house since the days of... Uh, I've been in the house since forever, since the since the seventies, man. Yes, best parties. That's why my show is a party. That's why I'm a party. I'm a feel good vibe. I'm sick of this, you know, these these vibes that are about you know killing and everything. For that, we got enough of that. Green is the new black. Green is the new black. Hashtag green is new black, but green is also the new nat. We are making a revolution. Hashtag naturally dope. We are making a revolution to save life. We're going to be focused on life and the real things and the natural things. Instead of focusing on the fake things, instead of focusing on, you know, the, 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 the plastic things. Let's stop focusing so much on that. And let you see, do you see that happening out there? That's like cool. Just the wind blowing off and the way it's moving. That is so cool. But yeah, we're going to focus on life and living things. We're going to change the pers- I am. You can do what you want to. The motion of water, green, natural stuff. We have to take control of our own uh, environment because no one's going to do it but us. So, first start with yourself. Clean yourself up. And then work from the inside out. Because that's how you do it. The kingdom and queen of God is within. You know? You got your... Uh, I know, baby. I know. I'm telling them, Cassiopeia. I'm telling them, Cassiopeia. I'm telling them, baby Cassiopeia. <laughs> oh, is this is so reminiscent of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, little, the big one and the little one. Big, you know, big Gamera and little Gamera. <laughs> it really is. And one in hiding. Okay. That's it. Have a good day. It's 
beautiful day. I feel good. I do. Thank you, Daddy. It's Father's Day weekend and I get the gifts. That's what's up. And then the breeze comes through. Her hair is fired, God, to me. I guess it did. 